good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of the radio, so today we need to look at a bunch of new products that have gone and been revealed, and there's a bit of a back-to-school theme going on here, but this, I think, is the kind of stuff that is going to make a lot of people very, very happy indeed. So, it doesn't really matter what order we go in, but let's start off having a look at a new collector chest. I have long said that these collector chests are great products for kids, great presents for kids, and just generally all around pretty cool, honestly. And it's nice that we're coming around here. So yay! Awesome. Now, we've got some information about this. Shout out to Best Buy, who have gone and made all of this available. And we have a release date of the 5th of July. Which sounds like breaking up from school in the UK to me, but hey ho. And we've got a clear theme here of, well, Paradox Pokemon. Like, you might look at the front of this and go, hang on a second, we'll see. The front of this is clearly going future, not Paradox. But then if I show you the back, you'll be like, oh, yeah, well, now we've got Screamtail and Fluttermane. Okay, fine. Maybe we are talking about Paradox as a whole. And this is a cool product. This, like I say, it is a phenomenal product for kids. I love this. And what you get, I mean, you get a bunch of packs. And packs are good. You open packs. Kids love packs. Blah, blah, blah. Packs are fine. But there's so much more than packs going on here. Because, you see, you also get yourself... Oh, sorry, in terms of packs, you get six packs. But you also get yourself a couple of coins. You get yourself an Iron Valiant and a Screamtail, which I believe are new coins. Happy to be corrected in the comment section as always. Oh, I should say this is retailing for $29.99 for $30. And kids love coins. Coins are sneaky awesome in products aimed at kids. They're a big fan. I'm a big fan. Jobs are good and So that's rather lovely. And you get yourself a couple of promos. And I say promos, but really... You need to imagine I'm saying them with quotation fingers. Because unfortunately, now, now these are promos, don't get me wrong. And they are hollow, which is lovely. But it's a Screamtail and Iron Valiant from Temporal Forces. These aren't, shall we say, completely and utterly 100% new. And the Iron Valiant is actually a hollow in the set proper anyway. The Screamtail isn't. The Screamtail's an uncommon. But the Iron Valiant is a hollow anyway. So, I'm not sure how much of a difference, if any, there is with the Iron Valiant. The Screamtail is at least a hollow that wasn't a hollow before. There is a chance that the Iron Valiant is actually a straight reaper, which is a little bit sad. We've then got some stickers, and I'm afraid the stickers we don't have a great look at. Uh, we can only see them on the collage. There are four sticker sheets, if anybody's wondering. And then there is a mini portfolio. They're the ones that keep one card per page. And again, these are great for kids because they're small. Kids are generally not carrying around hundreds of cards. They want to carry around a few of their favourites, and these are perfect. And I know I'm spending a lot of time here really pushing this as a great product for kids, and it is. It is a phenomenal product for kids. It is not just a product for kids, let's be clear. It is a cool product, and I do think that the main target audience here is kids. Like, that's the target for the Pokemon TCG as a whole, frankly. But I think these, more than a lot of products, really are going to appeal to kids. Because you've got things like the portfolio and the stickers and all of that. But make no mistake about it, these are very, very cool products. These are very nice things. Kids are going to love them. $30. They are coming out in July. I like this very much indeed. Would I like it more if we had real proper exclusive never before seen anywhere promos? Well, yeah. Honestly, I would. But that's not on offer now, is it? You know what? For what we've got, this will do very, very nicely indeed. What else have we got? Well, we've got one of the weirder type of products that we tend to see we've got ourselves eraser blisters rubber blisters you might say in the uk and what you get here are a couple of packs seemingly temporal forces and twilight masquerade but as always that is what we got in the stock image and the stock images are usually correct 
but we can't actually rely on them, so, you know, wait to get official confirmation. And you get yourself an eraser. One of those things that you use to get rid of pencil marks that you don't really want. And they feature Bella Bolt and Gengar. I don't really get the whole Bella Bolt thing myself. But I have friends who are huge Bella Bolt fans. So maybe I just don't get it. I understand that Gengar is a, like a Gen 1 big deal. Bella Bolt, less so. But look, I've got friends who are huge fans of Bella Bolt. So I'm going to defer to them here. Once again, this is releasing on the 5th of July. General rule, as always, is that products that are releasing at the same time tend to be revealed on the same day, which honestly does make an awful lot of sense. And they're retailing for $10. And honestly, that basically means you're paying a dollar to have them in a fancy pack with the eraser. Now, some kids, and I know this is going to break the heart of some collectors out there, some kids really are going to enjoy taking these to school and using them as intended. Just rocking up to school, but when you sit down in class to erase some pencil marks, it's Gengar. Kids are going to love that. I know there's a bunch of nerdy collectors out there, like me, for whom the thought of that is um less than ideal. But this is going to be a kind of cool thing that kids absolutely love. It's not the first time we've seen these, of course. I believe we saw them, oh, it was a little while ago now. And I think the first lot we saw had Pikachu and Eevee. And then the second lot we saw had LeChonk and Smoliv. And then we're back here with the third lot. Uh, there is, for what it's worth, a little bit of a description on the back of the pack here. It just says, get ready for your next project with a Pokemon eraser. Looking for the perfect eraser for a new project or a new class? You can choose a favorite Pokemon eraser and add to your Pokemon TCG collection at the same time. And then inside you'll find one of two favorite Pokemon erasers featuring Gengar or Bellabolt and two Pokemon TCG booster packs to expand your collection. Again, the, the word favorite is doing a lot of work here. Is Bellabolt really a favorite? Is Bella Bolt one of them that everybody loves? I don't know. I'm going to leave that one up to you. But there is one more thing which has gone and been revealed here. And we've got ourselves a pencil tin. Yay. And there's no messing about with this one. They've just gone, wait, so who's popular? Charizard. This is a favorite Pokemon. No mucking about. Straight to Charizard. Uh, once again, releasing on the 5th of July. This one is $11. And you're going to get yourself a sturdy tin and a couple of booster packs. We've got a bunch of images on the Best Buy website. None of those images actually show us what the packs are. It's probably going to be a very similar kind of pack selection to what we see with the Eraser set that I just showed you. But as always, unless we actually see it, I'm afraid all we can do is presume. On the back, you've got yourself Coridon and Maridon. No mucking about. They are, of course, the box legendaries. So we've got Charizard on one side and the box legendaries on the other. They're not mucking about. They know which side their bread's buttered on. Very British phrase, I believe. And they're just going for it. And again, and I, I know I'm saying this a lot about the products today, you know, sorry. But... All of these products really are, and look, it's, it's a back to school range. It shouldn't really surprise anyone. But they are very clearly designed for kids and especially suited for kids. And that's kind of awesome. Because I'm telling you right now, my, my kids are a little bit young to be running around playing with pencil cases and stuff. But when they aren't, when they're having pencil cases and pencil tins for school, this is the kind of stuff they're going to be asking for. The decision of which school bag to go for at the beginning of the year, that's a pretty big deal. I believe we're going to have a similar kind of thing here. If all you're after is a couple of packs, then sure, paying $11 for a couple of packs of Pokemon cards, clearly not ideal. But if you're looking for, you know, presents for kids, this is great. If you're looking for a new pencil tin, this is great. I've told you the kind of people that are going to be going for this. Everyone else, probably not, honestly. And I think that's all right. There are going to be some of you watching this video going, Wossy, you've shown me all three of these products. I'm going to be honest with you, mate. Not interested in any of them. And if that's the case, 
fine. But there are going to be a bunch of people for whom these products are extremely exciting. And there are going to be kids going around, you know, Walmart, Target, wherever these are sold. And they're going to see them and they are going to be bugging their parents. And that is kind of the point here. So there we go. Bunch of new products. And now I've shown them to you. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think of all of these in the comment section. Tell me which ones you're picking up, which ones you're excited about. Tell me which ones you're going to be skipping. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, of course, like the lovely William Shaw, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.